<laughs> hey, 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 hey. Captain, funniest guy in the world, Chris Johnson. How are you all doing today? Yep, just watched Marty's live with all his questions. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Um, I, I believe we're both pretty funny. Actually, Marty, Marty cracks me up quite a bit. And I wouldn't be the same without him. So, and I'm glad he's feeling better. Okay, what's going on today? Whoo, let's see. What's going on today? It's Friday night. So that means Friday Night Live with Ron and Lynn and uh, and the tech guys. Not sure what they're talking about tonight. There's not a lot to talk about anymore. But the cool thing is Ash McFarland sometimes shows up in that show. So, so on that note, check it out. That link will be posted in the back office. Uh, Facebook, Lynn puts it everywhere. You won't be able to miss it. Um, it's usually live streamed out also. So if you can't. If you can't get onto it, you can get onto it on YouTube. There's all kind of ways, guys. There's no excuses. No excuses whatsoever. All right. I'm still trying to see Marty's his question. So I was uh, doing a little research here. Hello, everybody. I was doing a little research here. Let me, you know, let me say hi to a couple people since everyone's jumping on here. And uh, I'll wait a little, which I don't normally do. Uh, Abadi, Alasso, David Switzer. How you doing? Rupa Paul. Madoop, Roop, oh, Roop, I said you yeah. Martha, how you doing, Burger? Uh, where's M. Kelly? I know she's always my first one. M. Kelly, what's happening? Good answers on the Marty Live today. Raphael, yep, the fun is here. Come on, y'all know I'm funnier than Marty. He's funnier looking, but I'm just funny. <laughs> but, <laughs> I do love the guy. He, well, what's not the love about Marty DeGarmo? He's just a good guy. Uh, Tobias Jana, what's happening? My nephew from India? Who you are long, far away from here. Uh, Stephen Johnstone, what's happening? You enjoyed Marty's questions. Uh, yeah, they, they were actually pretty good. I couldn't see the answers because there were so many people. They're still typing. I'm looking at his live. People are still typing things. So, um, <laughs> Gemma, what's happening? Uh, that's right. I fired Marty again. I think I fired Julie Wan. Where's she at? Adam, what's happening? I love Adam. He loves Marty, so I'm good friends with Adam. Everyone, if you don't love Marty, ooh, go away. You got to love Marty. He's just a good guy. Uh, let's see. Theo, what's happening? Bill Must is in the house. Don't forget to we'll subscribe to Bill's YouTube channel. Him, John White, Timmy Johnson, every single day are blasting out some pretty cool videos. Check them out. Um, I call it Freaky Friday. It is Freaky Friday. All the freaks. What's that song? The freaks will come out tonight. Something like that. I used to love that song when I was a kid. Tim Dillon, there's definitely a freaky guy. Timmy Dillon, what's happening? He's from outer space. Uh, Gina Olivia, you caught my live. All right. You got to just come out here and sing, Gene, because you got that angel's voice there. Ruth Pace is in the house. Uh, Robert Gunther, what's happening? Willow is in the house after our conversation with Willow. What's happening, Willow? Myra Aquino, what's happening? Yes, you speak very good English. Don't let them tell you different. Karina Lance, you finally made it. Oh, my God. Karina's my biggest challenge. She's always having a hard time finding me. Uh, there's Lister T, the other sister. <laughs> the other sister. Isn't that horrible? Uh, Lister and Gemma are you two beautiful sisters. I love them with all my heart. Uh, Trevor Peters, what's up? Trevor's getting his YouTube's going. I shared his live yesterday. Watch out for Trevor um, and join his YouTube. Guys, click on YouTube. Join YouTube. Start a YouTube. Julie Wen did an excellent, excellent thing last night. But she's got patience like a rock. Let me tell you. She had uh, 258 people on there, and everyone was yelling out, and she did a real good job. She's going to do more of that, helping people build their YouTube's. Uh, I gave her a lot of credit for that. So, And I believe she's going to be making some YouTube's too, just her talking about explaining how to do it. Pretty cool stuff. And, and uh, Mike Ellis came on there. I know Marty DeGarma came on there and told us all about YouTube. Pretty cool. Uh, there you are, Julie Wen. Well, it's about time. You don't answer my texts anymore. Hmm, you're fired. You're fired. But great job last night, Julie. Uh, Prisco, what's happening? Yeah, I got you. Donna Hamlin, how you doing? Linda Longmire. I like that name. Linda Longmire. It's got a good ring to it. That kind of sounds like a movie. Hey, did you guys hear about Linda Longmire? That's, that's, I like that name. 
What do you think, Linda? I think that's a good movie right there. We'll figure it out. Lynn Nakamoto is in the house. Holly Bugs. Holly Bugs, we love you too. Lori Lynn, did you see my picture of me riding horseback? Uh, I don't think I posted out when I was younger. I think I was maybe 19 or 20 looking sexy. I was bareback riding a horse. I'll send you that picture, Lori. You'll like it. Um, Stephen Johnstone, what's happening? I think I got everyone. If not, I'll jump around. Let me talk about today. Jennifer Drummond, hello. Susan Hodges, hello. Uh, Rena, what's happening? Frida Botchway, what's happening? Big Daddy Chris Johnson. Marty DeGarmo is on here. Hey, Marty, pretty funny. I think, I don't know, I'm still, I'm watching your live still. People are still putting questions on there or answers to your questions. So let me, let me start talking about again tonight, Friday night live. It's eight o'clock with Lynn and Ron. Uh, get on that one with the tech guys. I'm not sure what they're talking about, but I don't need to know what they're talking about. I know they're talking about a passing. And I think Julie and myself will be doing a speedy live sometime between now and before the Lynn and Ron show, which will actually advertise them. All kind of things going out there. Commend Julie again for her YouTube rock in the house yesterday. And I did a little studying last night. I got to bed a little early. My back's feeling a lot better. And anyone that wants to challenge to come over and throw me in the pool, I'm a pretty strong guy. Bring it. Bring it. Especially you to Garbo. I'll be, you'll be the first one I grab and throw right into the pool, man. Trust me on that one. <laughs> All right. Let me get talking before I forget what I'm going to say here. Uh, you know, I put on my, my heading today, I think, uh, world news, tech news from the world. And it's pretty depressing. And let me tell you why it's depressing. And let me tell you why on passive is it going to make the same mistakes uh, these, these tech companies are. All right, what happened in the, uh, the, the tech companies are usually the first ones to get hit. That's the truth. So what they did when the pandemic struck, they, they hired a bunch of people, they, what they call overhired. And now what they're doing is they're, they're laying them off, they're freezing them, they're doing whatever it takes. Oh, we got to get rid of these people. And the sad thing, in another month, they're going to need them again. Let me tell you the comparison about a passive. You see, Ashma Fire believes in overhiring. All right, because there's always something to do. What they, what these other big tech, tech companies do, is they come in, they hire someone. All right, we we got, we sucked all the blood out of you. You're done. Okay, that's that's not how companies should work. I get it when there's losing money, they got to make you know cuts and stuff. But what Ash Mafar does, uh, he doesn't believe in the laying off people. He hires people. He works into the future. If he runs out of things to do now, he says, all right. No, 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 no. You're going to keep work. Keep working. Give me new ideas. I want you to think 10 years in advance. That's what I love about Ash Mafara. All right. Coming from the auto industry where I see layoffs, people just, they got rid of them. Oh, the big guys ain't making enough money. The big guys ain't making enough money. What do we got to do? Let's cut the guy that barely has any money or the gal. Gee, does that sound familiar? One thing I love about Ash Mafara is he really reinstated listen you can always use people if you if you overhire there's where's ways that you can use them in different fields training hey we need a little bit more support over there at this time we, he doesn't just go lay everyone off so oh, we need them again and that's the downfall of these companies why are they laying people off because of inflation and rising interest rates all right in other words piss poor planning on their part and this is 66. 66 tech, com tech companies that laid off or pink slept over 16,800 people. Huh. I tried telling you, come to a pass of those 1,600, 800. Look at, we have lots of room for those 16,800 people. Not just yet, but I can give you the information. Anyone on here can give you the information. Okay. Yes. If you look at the onpassive.com website, Ash Mafara is also hiring. If I were you, one of those people that were laid off, 16,800 people or fired or what, I would go to that website and I would check it out. You could qualify for one heck of a job. We're a guy that gives away many things, literally. So go check it out. And shame on you, all you other tech companies that took advantage of people's skill for a month or two and then ripped their heads off and let them go. You know, they do have families they got to feed. But see, big business, they don't think like that. They think about, oh, man. I'm not going to be able to buy that new Mercedes this week. Hmm. You know what? 
Start thinking about people, companies out there. And passive things about people. All right. They think about every people, not just rich people. They think about rich people, poor people, middle class people, people that aren't born because he wants the future for them all to be great. Literally. Okay. Let me see. What else did I write down here? Uh, I don't know. And a lot of the things too. One thing I do love about Unpassive is Ash Mafara. Uh, a lot of these companies, uh, you know, have stocks or shares. Ash refused to do that. Why? Because he didn't want some rich dude coming in and taking over his company. This is his baby. And then you got these tech companies that, uh, we'll say Elon Musk buying Twitter. Okay. He ain't never going to sell. This is his baby. This is his dream. This is something that he's he's thought about probably since he was born. And he did it. He's never going to sell it. He's never going to have shares. No one is, is going to come in and run the ship here. He'll always be the captain. And that's why I love him. One of the big reasons I really do get out there and promote is the love of Impassive. They care about people. Ashma Fire has proven over and over that he cares about people. Even though we got some people out there that say, no, he's not. But he really is. He really, really, really is. I think that's all I wrote down in my notes today. I think that's enough. I think it's enough. I think that what the things I've told you the last couple of days, uh, Marty asked a question today, very good question. Where are you getting your most value from? Okay. The most value you really can get is looking at how the other companies failed and what a pass is doing to, to never go down, down that road, ever go down that road. Okay. He studied everyone. He just didn't pick one company and said, okay, they did good here. They didn't do good here. He studied everyone. And then what he did is he's learning from their mistakes. Well, we don't want to do that. Hey, we definitely can improve that. And that's a good idea. I like that. This is what he did. So when people say it's taking forever for Unpassive to launch, you're, you're misinformed. Take my hat off. Misinformed. You understand? Would you like Ash Mafar to say, okay, I got everyone's $97. Let's just launch this puppy. I don't think we're ready. Heck no. Wait a minute. Hell to the hell no. That's not how he works. Why? Because he would fail everybody. He does not want to fail you. What does he say? My name is Ash Mafara. All right. This is my responsibility. This is my name. All right. He wants to make it great for everyone. There's no option in there when it says fail, fail, fail. He's, he doesn't believe in fail. He believes in doing it the right way the first time. And that's actually what he's doing. Um, really, really, really cool things. I told you yesterday, which excites me, even when I say it, I actually said it before I went to bed last. I said my prayers, and I said the same thing. I have Chris. I'm thinking, I'm laying there, and I got to say it again. It's exciting to me. Wow. Eight billion people, and they got to come through the founders to get into a passive? <laughs> I'm still blown away by that. All right. I really am still blown away by that. And the more I think about it, the more excited I get. Uh, it is crazy Friday. Freaky Friday. We'll call it all my freaks on here. And I mean that in a good way. Uh, guess where you're going? Guess where you, you're at right now? You are at the top. All right. Each day is another top. Each day, Ashma Fire puts out something more exciting, uh, which is really, really cool. And if you're not excited, I don't know what to do. I did get a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Marty's live is still getting answered. <laughs> Marty, that's pretty good. You're not even on there. People are still answering your questions. Um, most companies this day are struggling, believe it or not. You know what companies actually made a lot of money in the last two years? We're tech companies. They're the first to make it. And they're the first ones to say, oh, no, we got to get out of this. See, Ash Mafar studied all this. He's making it where... It's always going to be successful. You always got to stand to keep a business running. It does take money. All right. But he says it doesn't take all the money, though. I could share this with people. Think about that. To own a business or run a business, it takes money to run that business. In other words, you have to put back into the business. But he says, but we don't have to put it all back in the business. Let's put it back into people. Let's put it back into humanity. Come on. That's that's a really nice thing. Really nice thing. Wow. I'm having a personal record today, Marty DeGarmo. Thank you. And I hope that my messages come across. Red Redfern, 
excellent lives today. Marty DeGarmo, excellent lives every single day. Those guys are the information. Me, I like finding things and comparing them uh, and, 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 and hitting on words that's going to blow you away. Maybe you're having a down day today. Why? Maybe you know your job cut back on the overtime um, and you're not going to make that money. But know this, that's all going to be put behind you when we launch to the world because you're not going to have to worry about that. You know, I was at my daughter's car, my brand new car got hit uh, last week. So we went to the dealership to get the estimated cost when it would get, get fixed. And I was talking to the uh, dealership guy and he says, you know, that auto, auto flip dealerships can't even hold cars on their lots anymore. Where they used to hold anywhere from 12 to 1500, they're, they don't barely have any, any stock in me. Why? Because the system that they created is failing on them. All right. Building companies overseas, one building and something blows up in that building. They can't get the parts. The microchips is still a major problem. Parts in general is still a major problem. All right. You got to look how Ash built this. Number one, it's a totally different thing, but it's global. And he's spreading it out all over the world. In other words, if you need this pen to run your company, all right, and it's very, very important. The way Ash McFarland would think is, man, I better put a, uh, a building at least in 10 or 15 countries that builds these pens so we never run out. Okay? It's actually a smart move. In today's time, we live off the just-on-time system which actually is a good system if it works. Most of the time it fails because just on time turns into, holy crap, they're an hour late. I lived that for 32 years with Mazda and Ford. The Japanese are really big on it and I love the Japanese. I'm not knocking them, but guess what? When you start spreading companies uh, for a part for this pen, only somewhere in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden the electricity goes out and for three hours, they have no way to produce this pen. Guess what happens? Someone's going to go down. Hey, okay, we can't build this, guys. We don't have the pens coming. It's going to take at least three weeks. What happens now? Layoffs. See, poor planning on upper managers or higher up CEOs, and they don't know what the hell they're doing. It affects you and me. It's not going to affect them. They're still going to make their millions of dollars. But you and me, hey, uh, Chris, here's a... Uh, I got to lay off for a month because, uh, man, I screwed up. Ah! Ash Mafara is not going to ever let that happen to you. Isn't that cool? Think about it. Think about this guy. All right? He really is a nice guy. And I one thing I don't like is when I go on to some of these other sites and they're knocking him. And I don't understand why. Why would you knock somebody that's trying to change it for the better? Literally. And I can't wait to see those people's faces that are so negative, when we launch to the world, I'm not gonna say I told you so. I'm just gonna let, wave to them, wave to them. Cause some of those people will be so, their pride, they won't even join as a reseller or a customer. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad that there's people out there like that? Don't be one of, excuse me, don't be one of those people. Hold on, water break, cause I'm drying up here. Don't be one of those people, be proud for the decision you made, okay? Because you really did make the right decision. Take it from a guy, I'm nobody. I'm just an auto worker. But I believe in something this much. Take it from me. I'm as honest as they come. I have no reason to lie to you. If you you understand this, we can't even sign people up right now. All right, we're done with that. We completed that mission. Okay, that's done. But yet I'm on here, Marty's on here, Red's on here, Julie Wen, Peter Shore, all these people, Pat Parents, the Sherry Dursaways, the Trevor Peters, the Tanya and Passives are out there still saying, guys, yeah, you can't sign up right now, but we, we want to keep you informed because when it comes, we want to get you. What did I tell you yesterday on, on our Speedy Live? Start posting on your Facebook or social media state. Listen, you cannot become a founder anymore, but when we launch, send me your email. I'm going to make a list. I'm going to make a list and we launch. I'm going to make sure that I send you those links and you can still get into a passive guys. You do not want to miss this. 
I know you got fa- I got family members. Oh my God, do I got family members that think I'm a nut? And I guarantee you, you do too. You haven't made no money, Chris. You haven't. I, every day I get it. It's okay. Does it stop me? No. Am I on here talking about it every day? I'm on here every single day. Every single day. I know this is 100% legit real. They don't because they were just too afraid just to listen or check it out. Big problem. Fear. Once again, fear cut their ears off. They cut their eyes out. They didn't even want to look at it. They, oh, no, that's that's a scam. It's fake. Listen, there are companies that are scam and fakes out there. This is not one of them. This is not one of them. And there's people making all kind of junk things on the Internet about Ash, about his formula. He, if you really look into the real facts about him, <laughs> he was he was just as good now as he was back then. All right. He did a lot of good things, but the companies he worked for did bad things. And because he was a part of it, he wasn't the owners. He got the bad rap for it. But to this day, Ash Mafar has got many systems out, out there that he designed that people are using. But now he's got something called passive for all of us. All of us. Be thankful. I want you all to be thankful. I don't think you, listen, I don't think you're all that thankful. I think a lot of you are impatient and I get it. I get it. But don't be impatient. So what are you doing right now in your life that you should be so impatient? You're going to work. Okay, no one likes going to work. We all did it. I did it. But your life hasn't changed. You paid $97. It could have been four years ago. could have been four weeks ago. Has your life changed in any way? No. But is it going to change because you bought a position? Yes, it will. You just got to be, just watch what's happening. He's built every day. It gets bigger and better. So don't tell me and don't complain it hasn't launched yet because technically the $97 you paid did not change your life yet, but it will. Your life was still the humdrum life it was. You went to work. You paid your bills. This is going to change all that. How do I don't know how to keep telling people that. I had people, oh, I want my money back. I paid now. Yeah, I'll give you your money back. But I say, did it change your life? Did you lose anything? Well, no. You still want your money back? No, I don't, Chris. I'm sorry. Do you get it? You, you, I guarantee you someone today's lottery is three, $400 million. You are going to go out and spend money on that lottery ticket, but you're not going to question it, are you? No, nope, here's 20 bucks. Give me easy picks and I'll take this kicker. Think about it. Who are you going to bitch at then? You're going to wake up tomorrow and guess what? You're going to lose again. $20 a week, $100 a week people pay. And they're and they're 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 not complaining, but my god, hey hey, hey guys, $97. I'm going to get you in a life-changing company, multi-billion dollar company before we launch unicorn status before we launch Oh, Chris, I don't know, but I'll gladly give the state some more of my money because I'm never going to win that lottery, but I might. I might think about it, guys. All right. I got to get going. <laughs> I want to say hi to everyone. I missed you. I want to rant and roll here. Uh, Kiba, what's happening? Ooh, Tanya Henard on passive. Yes, we're all blessed. Happy birthday if you got a bath birthday today. If you're sick, we're praying for you. Praying for my entire passive family. Shout out some prayers for uh, Ash Mafar and his family. And just say thank you. In the back of your mind, tell them thank you. All right. Always thank God. For everything and let's just keep this going uh tonight eight o'clock like i said ron and lynn uh, myself and julie will be doing a speedy live and today what we don't know but i believe we'll be trying to bring on uh our youtube guests oh i always forget i forgot the last couple days uh like and subscribe on my youtube and ring the bell however that works uh you guys understand how big youtube boy you guys do you understand you know i was talking to red the other day do you know how many millionaires YouTube has created? A lot of people say, Chris, how does, how can a passive pay these people all this money? You know, why don't you go study YouTube? And I bet you, you had the same question. Do you know how many people became literally multi-millionaires off YouTube? All right. For advertising, for doing their silly stuff. All right. They pay them out weekly. All right. And they don't have YouTube is a, is a social fun. Pla- I love YouTube, actually. 
But does it have one on passive has? No. All right. You're going to create, and passive is going to create <laughs> a world record amount of, I believe, appleneers, will, millionaires will say, just because you paid $97 and bought into a position for your own business, your own company, and it's going to be pretty amazing. Think about that. Dave Rosleski, what's happening? Linda Chapetta, Don McIntyre, what's happening? Ruthie Pace, Pam Turner, Christina Dodds. LC, did I get you? I did get you. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Make a YouTube. Get on YouTube. And that's not for making the middle. YouTube is something that's going to help us. Help us. And Ash Mafara loves YouTube. Bring people to Impassive. And if you heard Marty DeGarmo the other day on uh, a couple of his lives and on the uh, Julie YouTube last night, he gave a little clue why we're doing this and what it's going to happen. So stay tuned. Stay plugged in. Pay attention. Jarmo, what's happening? I got to get going. I love you very much. I love all of you. And we'll see you. I hope you have a nice weekend. I know Marty and Red are continuing to do their lives on Saturday, Sunday. If something comes up so exciting, I'm going to jump on there too. I've been trying to get a lot of work done around here. But I'll see you sometime. John White. Lori Lynn. Sabias Jana. We got people from all over the world here. Guys, have a great one. I love everyone here. Click and subscribe and ring my bell. Ring my bell. And I dare you to come over here and try to throw this big boy in a pool. You'll be going in first. All right. And I'm a lot funnier. I want you to text Marty DeGarma on as a passive nation. Yes, you're funny, Marty. You're funny looking. But Chris Johnson is much more funny. <laughs> I dare you. He'll hate me, but it's okay. This is how I get back at the big guy. Send him on passive nation to his email. Marty Chris is funnier. <laughs> He's going to hate me for that one. All right. Julie Wynn. What are we doing on Speedy today? I'll see y'all later. Bye.